There was Sunshine Aldo. They call me Shine. I wasn't the kind of who we'd usually hang out with. My name was Sunshine, but I was Midnight Rain. There was nothing I'm gonna miss in this world but my mom. She was definitely one of the purest souls I've met. She used to ask me what I wanted to do with my life. I told her I just wanted to have a me time. Just alone with myself. She thought that was funny. It wasn't meant to be. Not until I realized why. Iriga was my hometown, playground, universe, and that time, it was the site of an unforgettable quest. The aim? For me to meet the place. The park, the grotto, the shops, cafe and resto, the old church, hotels, destinations, and the cuisines. The people, the good companions, and the community. They were a part of me, all before reaching our destiny, the world's end. We took a walk into the city. I called it the unplanned because I never meant to cross paths with others. It just happened to. And so, our journey into the Antland began. We were off. We didn't waste any time. We hit different places. And we hit it hard. Ever had one of those nights that starts out like any other, but ends up being the worst night of your life? It was the 20th of December 2022, but I had woken up from a nightmare. Good thing, I bumped into some crackheads, and it was us against the world. There was drinking, there was fun, there was controversy, there was drama, and of course, there was peace. I remember walking into the rain, seeing the dim sky and chilly breeze, knowing in my heart, life would never feel this good again. And you know what? It indeed is. Would I like to add anything? Or maybe try challenges? Am I disappointed? About what? that I haven't made the most of it to the world's end? No. Spending my days here in Iriga was a roller coaster for me. And I've never been so happy as ever be. You, what's your what if? Would you choose Iriga?
fabric I think. Definitely yung city vibe kasi pag nasa buhi ka walang mga yung accessibility with the banks yung mga kasi rural doon eh unlike dito urban so yun yung pinakaun sa first question second question actually yung malls dito kasi wala naman sa buhi ay wala sa buhi so yun yung inaanap ko yung mga uh, yung mga errands pagbayad ng mga bills ganun and so on and then issues na encounter ko yung transportation pag wala akong sasakyan so yun yung hassle and then kapag ulan baka so yun lang yun yun sa akin Okay, good afternoon guys. I'm Jasmine Carion, the head manager of Think Coffee. Um, actually, we're under new management, so lahat ng answer to is will be based on new management, hindi yung unang management. Uh, for me, ah, kasi coffee shop is hindi naman siya for seasonal. Parang for long run siya. <laughs> Um, yung strategies na niraran namin is every month meron kaming hot deals, promos, and yung monthly drinks na tinatawag. I cannot answer it precisely, pero as of now, especially it's December, madami-dami yung mga tourists natin pag-seasonal. Um, meron tayong mga Usually, ang mga pumupunta dito is yung mga Italian. Sila. So, kasi si Tinkov is touch of Itali Italian foods and drinks. So, is there any challenges po na na-encounter? Ah, madami. Pag sa foods, especially sa customers, how you handle customers. Kasi syempre, uh, may mga, sabi ko nga, may meron tayong mga uh, foreigners na customer, which is marami silang needs na gusto so nilang gaw, pagawa, especially sa foods nila, na hindi sa atin pasok. So, mahirap kapag si customer ay demanding. So, yung mga usually um, challenges na i-encounter namin. So, so far sa mga tao is wala naman kaming um, na i-entertain na challenges since meron kaming SOP na um, na, I'm sorry, na sinasunod. Okay, uh, how do we promote our products? Actually, we were promoting our products through online. So, may medyo modern na tayo ngayon. Through online kami, uh, may Facebook kami. At the same time, nag suma sumasali kami sa mga promo ni Food Panda. So, pag may promo si Food Panda, we, oh, we actually um, join the, the program. Kapag hindi naman namin kayang join yung program, uh, may, we make sure that every day we post and promote our F FB page. Is there any advice as well you want to give us as well as in the service industry? Okay. Uh, pag sa service industry, kasi uh, na, so far, uh, na ang napapansin namin, especially since kaming mga managerial, every month, nagkakaroon kami ng um, parang team building, which we visit any or different kind of coffee shop, restaurants. Sa services, ang maaano ko lang siguro sa inyo is always treat your and welcome your guests na widely open, na smile. Kasi usually ngayon yung na yun yung nakakalimutan ng mga especially nung nasa na uh, front desk yun yung usually nakakalimutan ng mga tao um, another ma'am question what can you see po about the location of the uh, establishment at first okay yung uh, dito ah uh, sa Think Coffee okay yung location kasi nasa center of nasa centro kami at the same time malapit kami sa hospital sa workplace and especially sa school so ang target talaga actually ni Think Coffee is yung mga students Students, tapos yung mga working people. Uh, pero mas more on ano kami eh, uh, students na nagre-review. Yun yun. Yun yun na uh, catch namin yun. Maybe because dahil sa pandemic. Um, takol, takol po na dahil sa tourism mo sa di kanamo. Takol, takol kaya ang magagay na mga lugar sa di riga kaya dinadayo ka mga tagaibang lugar. Okay. 
um, manood sa business uh, na nakakatabang nga mga ading mga nilusan ko sa di Eriga para ma-improve ang di lugar ta unang-una na babayad sa ang buwis kaya so binabayad na lang buwis na improve ang lugar Uh, ini sikat tadi lugar tadi hari ading sudah gaya riga so negative effect man all tourist na mga tagaibang lugar mga nakadilunada napopulio tadi riga actually may may anyan disadvantage di parias pangulat simply wala mga magpupunta saan ba saan tayo? sa risto ba o sa swimming pool? kung lalatin natin in general kung lalatin natin tumupunta may kakain na hindi may maliligo kapag ulan sa pagkain at sa kasiliguan halos parias ano lang talagang pupunta pero kapag talagang wala naman ulan maganda pa lang natin yung winter maganda kapag yan ang mahinong sa ano sa winter mas maganda kasi ang tao open kahit sino kahit lang nang lumalakad makapunta dito kahit na may mga motor lang makapunta Depende naman yun kung doon sa restaurant doon sa restaurant bar doon sa swimming pool sa resort kapag doon sa una natin yun na yun sa restaurant ang risk naman basta makain mo yun ng ano natin customer maganda yung Tapos yung mga weapons natin, makisir pa rin yung order nila, wala naman masyadong problema yun. Doon naman sa mga order na pagkain, kahit sa nangyayari yung matagal na service, yung dahil sa marami rin yung customer. Doon sa social media, pangalawa, koneksyon, Pangatlo, pakilala. Pangapat, pakisama. Mm -hmm. Yun lang. Walang iba. In general, kapag nakuha mo lahat yun, maraming pupunta sa'yo. Okay. Ang, Sir? ang tourism sector, malaki ang uh, impact or there's a, a huge impact of tourism industry in the local. Okay. Actually, There are three major dynamic effects ng city. Uh, isa dito ang employment. Pangalawa, yung income generate, uh, I mean revenue or taxes, and yung business opportunities. Alam nyo kasi, uh, ang tourism sector, isa yan sa may contribution na binibigay sa ating uh, city. Pero ang ang sa ano naman sa employment may dalawang uri niyan direct and indirect. Ano ang direct? Yung direct, yan yung mga sana employment ta. We're talking about employment. Yung direct, yan yung mga 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 tourism stakeholder na direkta sila na nakaka nakakapagtrabaho sa isang establishment. And indirect, yan yung namang mga mga services. It's a di, uh, of, of course, yung investment. Sabi nga baga, pag may turista, may pera. Sa employment naman, pag may turismo, may trabaho. Pangalawa mong question, ang accreditation. Actually, annually, nagkakaroon ng accreditation dito sa CQ. And may mga statistics kami or uh, list of accredited establishment. Actually, katatapos lang namin ngayon ng 22-23 calendar year ng accreditation. Ang accreditation kasi, ang ina-accredit lang naman is yung primary. Yung primary, composed yan ng resort, accommodation, spa, uh, tour guides, and travel agency. Okay, yan yun. Yung secondary restaurant, um, ano tayo? Restaurant, health and wellness, shopping center. Pero ina-encourage lang namin sila para mag 
pa credit. Pero yung talagang mandatory is yung mga primary, yung accommodation. Um, may mga, ano kami, may mga list. Kasama yan sa statistic. Para may, ah, ka, ang kay, kahalagaan naman kasi ng data gathering para malaman namin yung uh, impact ng na nag-aabot ng mga uh, tour, like, tourist arrival, kung dumadami yung mga investors, at yung mga na-accredit namin na mga establishment para malaman namin may profile kami, may mga data kami. Tapos na-analyze namin yung trend or result ng mga establishment na pinag-digitan. Tapos hinukuhan namin yung data. Ang turismo, isa siya sa mga industriya ng locality natin na nagko-contribute sa komunidad. Ngayon, yung sa accredited kasi, sinasabi niya according to um, Local Tourism, Tourism Act of 2009, ang primary tourism establishment, yun lang ang mandatory na magkaroon ng DOT accreditation, which means dapat ang operation niya not only legit na may mayor's business permit, dapat accredited na ng DOT. Bakit? Kasi kailangan may ensure ng tourism establishment kagaya ng hotels. Yan yung mga primary natin. Di ba, sir? Yes. Accommodation dapat, establishments. Dapat, yun yung primary. Dapat duman sila sa DOT. Dapat dum oh, duman sila sa inspection ng DOT para makapag-insure tayo na ang turista na nag sa atin safe ang pamamalagi sa City of Eriga. Usually, yung mga kapatid, kapamilya, kalagari, at kapuso, umuwi naman sa mga mahal sa buhay. So, yun sa mga ikita nyo, may mga, may mga bumibisita, umuwi sa kanilang, kanilang mga uh, mahal na bayang lugar. So, ibig sabihin, nagbibisit sila. Yung sabi kasi nakikita natin, uh, parang pag umuwi sa years, hindi sila umuwi sa kanilang mga lugar, parang nananibago sila. So, may nababago ng mga lot park, may mga panibago ng rota, So, andun yung city tourism office, kung makikita nyo sa mga boundaries or may mga tourist destination like sa Inorogan, makikita nyo yan. So, tourism information center, assistance, nagbibigay kami ng mga brochure para naman may discuss namin yung mga, mga programs, tapos mga project at mga susunod pang mga proyekto ng local government unit at uh, project ng tourism office. Uh, at is, may mga idea na sila para bumalik-balik sila dito sa ating Um, lugar. Actually, ang Inrogan, declare na yan as pilgrims uh, place ng destination ng Ringland. 